Hey y'all, it's Diddy. Yo, June 2nd, 1998, Master P dropped his seventh solo album, MP The Last Don. He advertised it as his last album and he stacked it with 29 records. But what we gonna do? We gonna fix it. Let's do it. Okay, so I know what a lot of y'all are thinking. Why are you fixing The Last Don? The album is really good. Well, it's a lot of bloat on here, man. 29 records. If you guys don't remember, here's the original track list. Look at this thing. So many records. So what we gonna do, we gonna take it, we gonna cut it down to 15 records. One cohesive piece of work. Let's get to work and talk about the songs we gonna remove. I just wanna say, I have no hate for any specific song on my list of songs that I'm removing, but here's the list we got right here. First thing we getting rid of is these streets keep me rolling. Dear Mr. President, Mama Raise Me, and Let My Nine Get Them. Now, some of these songs aren't bad, for sure, but I definitely want to get rid of any songs that sound like remixes to songs from the first album that aren't necessarily better than those songs. Plus, there's other songs on this album that are better than those records, so we're going to keep the best songs in the best cohesive flow. We're also going to get rid of So Many Souls to Cease, Rockin' By Haters, Snitches, Family Business, Let's Get Them, Welcome to My City, Get A Love, Make Them Say On Two, reverse the game and eternity. It's pretty easy to see why I'm getting rid of Make Him Say On uh, 2 and Let's Get Him. They're both technically remakes from songs from Ghetto Dope and the Ghetto Dope versions are definitely better. So those are the songs we're removing. For this album, we are not adding a single record just because there's a lot to work from from this album right off the bat. So let's get to the final track list and look at what we got. Now, as you can see, we're left with 15 records. So the key thing was how are we going to sequence it, right? Well, just to be honest, Master P got a lot right with the sequence in the first time around, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the original first four songs right where they are. The Last Don, Till We Dead and Gone, Thinking About You, and Soldiers, Riders, and G's. All of these songs just sequence so perfectly. I think it would be a little bit too hard for some people to take in a new variation of that just because that's just, it just sounds perfect. The first changes start coming in right after that. Thug Girl and Ghetto Life following that. It just feels so right. It kind of slows it down, brings in a new vibe and a new feel. And Thug Girl kind of felt wrong in the mid to late section of the album. So I felt like it felt more appropriate to move it up. Ghetto Life is just a joint and it just feels so perfect right here. Ghetto got me trapped at number seven. Like I said, just feels perfect. You gotta love the gospel feel from the hook and everything like that. You gotta have some serious talk right in the middle of the album. And then you follow that up with Hot Boys and Hot Girls. It gives you a little bit more amp, a little bit more energy, kind of swings things around. It still gives you that feel of a regular No Limit sequencing album. So now we got Get Your Paper and then we got Gangsta Bitch. Well, I went with those two right here because that's just the way it sounds. It's all about the flow. It feels like a No Limit album to me, putting it in this sequence. And I'm talking about more so like the Ghetto Dopes, the 504 Boys, the Silk the Shockers Change the Game sequencing. That's kind of the vibe I went for for this. So those two right there, just keep it flowing. Right after Gangsta Bitch, I got Black and White. This is one of my favorite songs from P. It's just too real. You get a young Romeo doing the intro of the record and towards the end of an album, that's usually when you want to start stacking on the real talk, the real conversations and make sure people are engaged. So this one's going to go right here. Number 12, More to Life. Number 13, War Wounds. More to Life keeps C Murder in the mix and then War Wounds keeps everybody else in it. It's like a No Limit theme song. You know, they got to have these on an the album, man. There's no way I could cut this. If I could get rid of Make Em Say On too, got to keep War Wounds. War Wounds is a much better song anyway, so I prefer that one. Number 14, I'm gonna keep Rod, and number 15, Goodbye to My Homies. Rod could end the album if you wanted it to, but I went with Goodbye to My Homies because it just feels right, right? I love hearing Bourbons and Lax and then Ghetto D, and I feel like this is the closest song to that type of feel for me. So I put Goodbye to My Homies last, and it's pretty much an update to I Miss My Homies from the Ghetto D album, but I love the Boys of Men sample. The bad singing is bad, but at the same time, man, it, it kind of adds to the spirit of the record, right? No Limit Records in general, they have a lot of bad singing, but that's part of the charm. You don't listen to it if you, you know, they're not gonna go get Monica, they weren't gonna go get Joe and Yvonne at that time, so they just work with what they had, and that's kind of the charm of it. It sounds like your friendly neighbor down the street that, you know, Uncle Ron, that you can go holler at to get on a record, so. This is serviceable, I love it. So Tashaka has a little bit of a hard to understand what he's saying part on his verse, but it all works out. It's a great record, and I feel like this is a great point to end the album. So, how do you feel about the new track list? I think you need to go ahead, 
put this in the playlist and listen to it just like this, man. It gives you a whole new perspective. We're trimming some of the fat off of this joint. And I know, I know, I know there's so many other good songs that I left off. I could have technically just kept just the first album and added a couple songs from the second one. But we took the route that we took. I feel like this is the best version of Master P, The Last Nine you can make. If you disagree, leave your version in the comments down below, man. Leave us a comment. Let us know which albums you think we should fix next. I've been Dame Diddy from Rose. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. Love you. Peace.